Can I bring you now, sir, to the sombre days of the First World War? What association did you have with Sir Winston then? Just before the First World War, an event which was to reveal for the first time the wonderful qualities of foresight, daring and resolution which were to give him and give a heroic meaning to his later life. It was July 1914. The war clouds were gathering. Winston, by now, first Lord of the Admiralty, had mobilized the British home fleet under the guise of naval maneuvers. My father and I embarked aboard the Royal Yacht at Portsmouth and reviewed this mighty battle line of dreadnoughts, cruisers and all the rest at Spithead. On the final day of this great fleet assembly, my father, with Winston on the bridge, watched the warships steam away to their stations in secrecy in defense of the British Isles. Was Sir Winston a great help during the obviously difficult days of the period of your abdication? For myself, I shall always be grateful to Winston and to his old friend and mine, the late Lord Beaverbrook, for the support they gave me when the issue of my abdication was before the British people. Oh, sir, I'm sure that you would like to wish a friend of so many years a personal birthday message. Yes, and now as this great man enters upon his ninth decade, I would like to look upon this occasion as a cheerful landmark in the ever-unfolding lives of Winston Churchill. <laughs>